Well then, we understand that when we respond to the message of the gospel, we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we become children of God. And God has only one kind of children. As obedient children. Finished. I used to wonder. And this one used to really get me. And this one used to really depress me. And this one used to just put dagger in my heart. When I see people that they know the truth. They know the word. If you ask them what's expected by God from everyone that names the name of Christ, they know it. Hundred percent. Then, when I see them disobeying that word of God they know, it used to really get me, depress me. Do anything. It just, just make me feel the world is almost coming to an end. And then the Lord help me. Don't worry about that, the Lord told me. If the visible church is larger than the invisible church. It's not everybody, the Lord was telling me, that you see there that is going to obey. If you're looking for 100% obedience to the word of God by everybody that comes to retreat, that comes to Sunday worship, that comes to workers meeting, if you are waiting for 100% all of them to obey before you preach, then close your Bible and go home and go back uh, to your mathematics and go and be teaching what you want to teach. It will never happen. I said, Lord, it cannot happen. He said, it will never happen. This church is too large for everybody to be children of God. There are weeds and tires. And there is a mixed multitude. And so the Lord said to me, take your Bible and go and preach. Whoever obeys, whoever does not obey, you are preaching not for them. You are preaching as your faithfulness unto me. And then I said, thank you, Lord. And anywhere I go now, anytime, I know that not everybody is going to obey the call unto holiness and sanctification. It used to get at me. If, if, I, if I preach a message and, uh, you know, talk on the holiness, I dig deep into the word of God and then I look up high into the heavens and I describe the rapture and I describe heaven and I describe the qualification to get there. And I almost will be seeing the saints of God marching in and I tell them and the people pray and pray. Ten minutes after that, when the service ends, if I saw anyone that, uh, you know, acted like the old, old, old fellow, it used to get me. It used to just, you know, just smash me. That See, all the heaven you spoke about, all the holiness you spoke about, look at this. And then I used to be so dejected and so unhappy. Why is this? Then the Lord helped me. That Jesus, Jesus, he himself, he spoke about heaven. Not everybody that heard him accepted to go in the way to heaven. Relax and preach. Whoever wants to get it will get it. Whoever does not want to get it, leave them in my hands. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And since that time now, I preach it to you. You throw it back to me. I say, praise the Lord. That's what the Lord was telling me the other day. And then, those who obey, those who obey, those are the children of God. As obedient children. There's no other kind of children of God in the kingdom of God. Only those who make up their minds. They are going to obey the Lord. They are going to follow the Lord. They are going to keep themselves totally submissive, subjected to the word of God. Every judge, every teacher, everything in the word of God, they say, Lord, I know why I came to Christ. I know why I came to this church. I know why I bought the Bible. I know why I got all those cases. I know why I got all 
all that literature. I know the tears. I know the consecration. I know the things I left behind. I know the place I am going. And because of that goal that I have, because I'm expecting my Lord, there is nothing else for me to do except to get the grace of God in my life so that I will be one of the obedient children of the Lord. Those children of God are called to live in holiness.